The Three Little Pigs Once upon a time, there was a beautiful brick house that was on top of a hill and near a small stream. In this house lived a family of pigs. The mother pig and her three little pigs were kept there. They lived very happily in the house for a long time. Over time, the little pigs grew until they got big. Mother Pig was very worried. The house had become small for the little pigs, so she told them, you'll soon have to build your own house. And on a beautiful sunny day, the three of them left. The three little pigs were very different from each other. The little piglet was called Cicero and only thought about playing the flute and playing in the woods. It did not like heavy work. The little pig in the middle was called Hector. He liked to eat apples and sleep, so he preferred to spend his days relaxing under the trees instead of working. The oldest little piglet, who was called Practical, was a very hard worker. He knew that we must first fulfill our responsibilities and then enjoy the day. Every little piggy built a little house for themselves. Like the little pigs, the little houses were very different from each other. Cicero did not want to waste a lot of time working in his house. He also did not want to hurt his hands because he was very fond of playing the flute. So he decided to build a house of straw. It was ready in a short time, and soon he could enjoy the day playing his flute in the woods. Hector also did not want to waste a lot of time working. He found a region with many trees and decided to use them to make his home. Soon, his wooden house was ready and he was free to doze off in the hammock he put on his porch. Practical, however, he knew that having a safe and secure home was very important, so he decided to build his brick house. Building the house involved a lot of work and took so much time, but Practical was happy with the result. The little pigs lived happily in their new cottages for a long time, but one day a traveler passed by. It was a wolf. It was very hungry and had discovered that little pigs lived in the vicinity. Then it decided to look for them. After much searching, at last the wolf found Cicero's straw house. It went to the piggy's door and said, Open the door. I need to get in. Cicero, who was not so silly, did not open it. Furious, the wolf gave a strong blow towards the house. The house was very light and flew through the air. Cicero, scared, ran to Hector's house. The little piggy managed to get safely into his brother's house, to whom he told everything as soon as he entered. The wolf came right away. When the wolf was near the entrance to the wooden house, he slammed the door and asked for it to be opened, and the piggies did not open. The wolf then started to blow. With just two breaths of air, the wooden house was dragged, breaking right away. Cicero and Hector rushed to Practical's house and managed to get there before the wolf. As soon as the wolf reached the house, he started to blow again. But it was no good. The wolf could not move a brick from Practical's house. It was very well built. That's when the wolf had an idea. He decided to go up on the roof of the house and then down the chimney hole. But the practical little pig was smarter than the wolf. When he heard the footsteps on the roof, Practical took a pot of hot water and placed it under the chimney. When the wolf went down through the hole, it fell right into the pot, burning its tail. The pain was so great that the wolf flew out of the chimney. The little pigs celebrated that they were now free from the wolf. At last, all the little pigs understood the importance of having a strong and safe house. Practical helped his brothers to build their brick houses. And when they were ready, they invited the mother pig to celebrate. Mother pig was very proud to see that her children had learned a valuable lesson.